Hi, welcome to Dia's Eats. Today we're going to be making uh, a white cake today. And the ingredients we have are going to be unsalted butter, we're going to have sugar, eggs, flour, salt, baking powder, milk, vanilla extract, and frosting. For this cake, you're going to need half a cup of butter, you're going to need one and a half cups of sugar, three large eggs, you're going to need two and one fourth cups of flour, a teaspoon of salt, then you're going to need three and one half teaspoons of baking powder, one and one fourth cups of milk, mm -hmm. a teaspoon of vanilla, and two and a half cups of some good old frosting. A key to every good cake is your oven. You're going to want to preheat this to 350 degrees. So for your next step, you're going to want to sift together all of these ingredients we have here. So we have salt, we have baking powder, and then we have our flour. So we're just going to put it in here because we don't have a sifter. And this is two and one fourths of flour. <laughs> then we're going to pour in the baking powder, just like that. And you want to put this salt in. Yeah, you want to just, just kidding, it doesn't matter. All right, so now you want to have it sifted. <laughs> All right, now about after like three minutes, you should be good. All right, so you're gonna get your pan baking spray and you wanna coat the sides and the bottom of this so your cake doesn't stick onto it. But, all right, so you're gonna wanna mix in your butter and your sugar. And you wanna do this until it's about fluffy. All right, and then we'll time lapse. All right, so this is what you're going to be looking for. It's looking pretty fluffy and it looks delicious. It looks like mashed potatoes. Yep. All right, so you're going to add in each one of these eggs one at a time. We have three here. You should practice. All right, so once that's um, looking nice and smooth and creamy like this, you want to add in your flour, sugar, and baking powder. Only half. Yeah, only half. And then you want to beat that until it looks creamy like the product before. All right, so now you're going to want to add your milk. And then you want a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then beat that in. All right, and now you're gonna wanna add in the rest of the half of the flour mixture and then just beat that in again. Okay, so once your batter's looking like this, you're going to add in half of the mixture into your pan. What we're going to do today is we're going to have a cake that's layered, so we're going to have two cakes today. Just want to add that in and just eyeball this. Alright, so that looks about good, and then we'll save the rest of the batter for the next cake. 
All right, so now we're gonna put it in the oven and we're gonna put it in there for 25 to 30 minutes. I'd recommend a oven mitt for rookies. Yeah. All right, so you see how that's like jiggly? It's not ready. This one though. All right, and this is just a pro tip. You wanna get a toothpick? Oh, I don't have toothpicks, but this looks good. <laughs> so you don't want to let this like cool down for about 15 minutes. And then by the end of the 15 minutes, uh, this cake right here should be good. So once you've cooked both the cakes and they look about ready for you, you want to put it in the fridge for about 10 minutes to let it cool down so it doesn't melt the icing. And then after that, you're done.